Manipulation leads to self-hatred. Now, what do I mean by manipulation? Um, you know, we live in a society where being your authentic self, being whoever you were born as, expressing, you know, 100% of your personality, doing what makes you comfortable is, you know, severely uh, shunned upon. It is, you know, met with great uh, disdain, if you will. You know, you are expected to follow certain societal norms. You know, you're either a Democrat or you're a Republican. You either talk like a white guy or a black guy. You either dress like a a businessman or an emo kid or a gangster or a whatever, you know, or a Kardashian. You know, you're, 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 it's very shunned upon to have your own uh, set of beliefs and your own personality that doesn't fall in place with, you know, the societal norm or, you know, um, with the narrative, right? But here's the problem with that. Um, Manipulation leads to self-hatred because anytime you do something that's out of your character to get what you want, you are going to not only lose more and more of yourself as far as your personality, you know, and your quest to find out who you are, you're going to hate yourself more and more because, um, because you, you, you sold your soul in a sense. You sold yourself short to please someone else. It's the same thing as a guy who doesn't have enough confidence in himself to talk to women. So he has to resort to paying money to attract women. It's the same thing when you have to manipulate to attract women or manipulate to maybe uh, have guy friends or something like that. You know, it's 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 a form of mental tricking in a sense, you know, when you have to always manipulate to get your way. Now, in very small certain circumstances, manipulation is all right. Let's say like you get pulled over by a cop and if you just smile and apologize, he's not going to give you a ticket. That's one thing. But if you let's say you say you meet a girl, right? And she just doesn't like you for you. So you have to implement some, you know, uh, real social dynamics, uh, crazy manipulation, hot and cold, hot and cold. Uh, uh, you know, I'm mean that I'm nice. I'm mean that I'm nice. And you're just constantly what from start to finish manipulating to get what you want. That is the same that you might as well just um, use money and go hire a prostitute because that at least that is a legitimate business transaction, you know, where everyone is on the same page. When you manipulate so much, you lose who you are, you know. Uh, you, you, you forget how, you know, you wear the mask for so long, the mask becomes your real face, you know. Um, you know, it's it's you're selling yourself short every time you do that and you're going to grow to hate yourself more and more because you're going to be telling yourself on a subconscious level, I'm not good enough to get what I want by being myself. So you can get everything you want. You can get the money. You can get the status. You can even get some women by manipulating and you're going to hate yourself and you're going to hate all of it because you know deep down you're living a lie. You're not going to be able to look yourself in the mirror anymore. And... This comes from experience, right? I had a couple of years, I'd say from age 19 to 22, right? Um, where I was just nothing but sheer manipulation. Everything I did, I, I, I swallowed that RSD mindset whole, you know, real social dynamics. I, I, I was so into the like tactics and techniques to get what I want. And not only did I get even less women when I was manipulating, I was I would hate myself. I would wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and honestly just want to put a gun in my mouth and blow my brains out. I was just so miserable and hateful um because I'm like I'm living a lie, you know. I can't get what I want by being myself. I have to resort to these weird tactics that make me uncomfortable, you know, to get what I want. And and you see this with guys in the office. This is why like I really never lasted in an office job because it is nothing but sheer manipulation, you know, corporate politics, you know, hey Bill, how are you doing today? Oh yeah, yo, it was good. Did you catch the game last night? Oh yeah, oh it's seventy degrees outside. Oh no. you know, all these fake conversations, all this weird nervous behavior. You know, that is that is so toxic, you know, for your soul to to be doing that 24 7 and 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 in the west you see a lot of that it's really almost all conversations are just nothing but manipulation you know everyone is putting on a front everyone's wearing a mask and you're never gonna you're never gonna embark on your spiritual journey you know to find yourself and learn about yourself and bring out your your skills and talents from within yourself by being so manipulative and um and just acting in, in, in a way that's just so unnatural. 
um, I actually started getting 20 times the women when I finally told myself, you know what? I'm sick of being manipulative. I'm tired of this. I just said, screw it. I'm just going to be blunt and ask for what I want. And I'll just walk up. Like I used to walk up to a girl and be like, I have to start with a compliment and then I have to say something mean and then I have to do another compliment. Dude, I don't, like that was sucking the life out of me. Now what I do, I just go, hey, you know, uh, what's, what's your name? Oh, Ashley. Nice to meet you, Ashley. I'm Karamo. Look, I'm just going to cut to the chase. Uh, I find you attractive and I want to get to know you. Uh, here's my number. Call me tonight around 8 o'clock. Let's set something up. All right? Cool. Like that's, It's that simple. And ever since I started just being blunt and asking for what I want and playing no games, I, I, for example, when I used to manipulate, I used to maybe get a girl to sleep with me uh, once a month or once every couple months. Now I can get one to three girls a week easily. Straight up. One to three, at least one to three times a week. I can get a new girl to sleep with. And, and it's not just about women, right? But the point is, when you just be yourself and you stop manipulating, everything just flows more naturally. You know, um, I didn't, you know, this video, I didn't rehearse this. I didn't, none of this is written down. I'm just, I'm just flowing from the heart, right? And everything just comes out so effortlessly. And that's how you want to live your life. You want to have friends around you that you don't have to manipulate. You want to have a woman around you that loves you for you. You don't have to manipulate, you know, um, and anything that you have to manipulate to get isn't even worth having, you know. Um, and and I just feel like a better person, you know. I feel good. I wake up. I know who I am. I love myself because I'm being myself, regardless of what the consequences are. You know, you really have to be who you are, regardless of the consequences. If it means you're going to make a little less money, so be it. If it means you're going to have a few less friends, so be it. Because living an authentic, genuine life is 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 the real key to happiness honestly you, everything has to be done everything has to be coming from the right place anytime you resort to something outside of yourself you know to get what you want it's like you're making a deal with the devil you're compensating to get what you want and the price you pay in the end is always going to be greater than the benefit you get in the moment from selling yourself short to get what you want you know um i i i have i have such great peace of mind knowing that everyone in my life lights me for me. I never have to second guess and doubt and say, is it because I have this car? Is it because I told them this lie? Is it because I uh, got plastic surgery and my face looks better? Every, everyone who's in my circle loves me for me, you know, and that is powerful. That, that, that makes me richer than Donald Trump, you know? I have no yes men around me. I have no gold diggers around me. I have no fake uh, whatever, you know? It's just, it's a much better way to live. Um, manipulation will lead to self-hatred. You will, you will lose yourself. You're, you're in a sense, uh, every time you like manipulate to get what you want, you're essentially like prostituting yourself, you know, killing your self-image, telling yourself subconsciously, I'm not worthy. I don't deserve this. So I have to sell my soul to the devil, you know, to get what I want. So, um, be be who you are, you know, no matter what the consequences are, and you will find a way to get what you want over time. Things will start to work out. You'll start to develop and sculpt your true, authentic, you know, uh, identity. And then you will start to attract the people that were meant to be around that authentic identity, you know, and personality. And it might be a lot less people than you had before, but those relationships are going to be so much more fruitful uh, and meaningful than all the fake ones you had combined. You know, it's it's better to have two real people in your life than to have 200 fake, empty, you know, yes men uh, around you. You will, y your memories will be a lot more fulfilling. When you look back on your life, you're going to say, wow, I really enjoyed, you know, the time I spent with those people uh, that genuinely loved me for me. So uh, that's that's the moral of the story, guys. Manipulation leads to self-hatred.